the previous lesson, we talked about thala, which is the outer structure of the beats. Now we're going to talk about the inner structure of the beats, and this is uh, called gati. Now gati is really how many times you're dividing one beat, or in the case of Kanda Chapa and Mishra Chapa, perhaps you're dividing a half beat. So I'm going to introduce you to a drum language called konakol, which is how we keep track of how we subdivide each beat. So the default way of dividing a beat is into four parts. So if we just have a continuum of beats going, the way to divide this by four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we have syllables associated with the number four, and that's akadimmi, akadimmi, akadimmi. In South Indian music, usually the beat stays the same, and we can change how we divide each beat. And this creates different kinds of rhythmic feels. So notice what happens when I switch from dividing the beat into four parts, using the syllables takadimi, into three parts, takita. So first I'll show you takita, and then I'll show you how takademi relates to takita. So the same beat, the same tempo. Takita, 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 takita. Do you see how this sounds different? So now I'm going to recite the four next to the three so that you can see what the difference is. Again, we're going to keep the same tempo for the beats. Dimmi, Daka, Dimmi, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, Daka, Dimmi, Daka, Dimmi, Daki, Da, Daki, Da, one, two, three, one, two, three, Daki, Da, Daki, Da, Daka, Dimmi, Daka, Dimmi, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, Daki, Da, Daki, Da, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, these are two possible gatis, or subdivisions, of a single beat. We also have three more possibilities that we use in Carnatic music. So we've covered four, which is the default, and we covered three. We can also divide the beat into five. And the syllables for reciting five are rendered as two plus three. So if three was takita, Two is taka, so the way that we say five is taka plus takita, which is taka takita. So that's five syllables, and we're going to use those five syllables to divide the same beat. So again, the same beat, the same tempo. Taka takita, taka takita, taka takita. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to show you again how this relates to the four and the three. But so that you can notice what's happening as we increase the divisions, I'm going to start with three this time. So you'll hear the same beat being divided into three, four, and five. Start to notice what happens to the rate of my saying these syllables as the number of divisions increases. Start with a beat. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Taka takita taka takita one two three four five one two three four five taka takita taka takita. The way that we recite the divisions of seven and the divisions of nine are similar to the way that we constructed the five out of two and three. So when we're dealing with seven, we could construct it as four plus three or three plus four. Now again. The words for four were takadimi, and the words for three were takita. So you can divide it as takadimi takita, 
or you can divide it as takita takadimi. So this is how it would look. Takadimi takita takadimi takita takadimi takita takadimi takita takita takadimi takita takadimi takita takadimi takita takadimi. The same goes for nine. So nine can be thought of as four plus five. And again, five is already two plus three. Taka takita. So all we're adding is a prefix of takadimi. So then we get takadimi taka takita. This is the more common way of saying it, although you could potentially say taka takita takadimi, which is two, three, four, or five and four. I'm going to recite the conventional way of saying nine. So this is our beat. Takadimi taka takita, takadimi taka takita, takadimi taka takita, takadimi taka takita. Did you notice how the syllables I was saying got faster? The beat that I was clapping remained at the same tempo, but the syllables were going at a different rate, depending on how many divisions there were in each beat. So this is kind of like fractions. If you divide a pie into three parts, and you're sharing it with three people, sharing it among three people, each person gets a pretty substantial amount. Now if you take the same pie and you divide it among four people, each person gets a little less. The same goes for five, you get a little less. Seven, even less. Nine, even less. So you can imagine this happening with time as you have each syllable lasting for less and less time as you divide the same beat or the same length of time into smaller beats or smaller units which we're going to call aksharas which I'll talk about in a minute. So to show you all the different possibilities we have three, four, five, and I'm going to demonstrate seven and nine. We mostly use three, four, and five because they're very accessible. Seven and nine are a lot harder to perform, so you see them once in a while, but they're not as common. But in any case, I'm going to show you how they sound put next to each other. Da ki da da ki da one two three one two three da ki da da ki da da ka dimmi da ka dimmi one two three four one two three four Takadimi, takadimi, taka takita, taka takita, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, taka takita, taka takita, takadimi, takita, takadimi, takita, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, takadimi, takita, takadimi, tak, takadimi, taka takita, takadimi, taka takita, takadimi, taka takita, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, takadimi, taka takita, takadimi, taka takita, tak. Now, I just talked about how we divide a single beat into multiple kinds of divisions, whether it's three, four, five, seven, or nine. We have a name for these units. Uh, these rhythmic units are called aksharas. The word akshara in Sanskrit means letter or syllable. So in a similar way, the number of syllables or rhythmic syllables that I'm reciting translates into the number of aksharas. So again, if a beat is divided into takadimi, the beat is divided into four aksharas. Now when we have multiple beats and you want to calculate how many aksharas are available, then you would multiply the number of beats or half beats, if you're dividing half beats, by the number of divisions. So let's take examples from each of the talas that we've covered so far. So Let's take Aditala. Now you remember that that's the 8 beat time cycle. Now if we have the 8 beat time cycle and each beat is divided into 5, again 5 being taka takita taka takita, this is what it looks like. Taka takita 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 taka takita. So 
when we have eight beats and each of them is divided into five units or aksharas, we multiply eight beats times five aksharas to get a total of 40 aksharas. So the number 40 represents how much rhythmic information we can fit into a cycle of Aditala where the beats are divided by five. We can do this for all the other talas too. So let's take Rupakachapa, which is the three beat cycle. Again, this is what it looks like. One, two, three. Let's say that these beats are divided by nine. Now again, what you would do is multiply the number of beats, three, and by the number of divisions, nine. So three times nine is 27. So in one cycle of Rupakachapa, where the beats are divided by nine, you have a total of 27 aksharas. This is what it sounds like. So the number of syllables I uttered were 27. Now let's look at Kandachapa and Mishachapa. As you might remember, we conceived of these in terms of half beats. So if we have five half beats, or five times one half, we have two and a half beats in Kandachapa. Again, this is Kandachapa. Now, if each beat is divided by four, then how many units are there in each half beat? The answer is two, right? Because each half beat represents four divided by two, which is two. So if we have five components or five half beats in Kandachapa, as I explained before, then we have a total of five times two or 10 aksharas total in Kandachapa because there are five half beats and four aksharas per beat, therefore two aksharas per half beat, and you still have 10. Because we have 10 aksharas for the five beat cycle, or the five half beat cycle rather, we can't utter a whole number of takadimis, so it gets cut off after we finish two. So what that sounds like is taka dimmi taka dimmi taka. It doesn't get to finish. Now if we were to finish through the cycle and keep saying taka dimmi, it would sound like this. Taka dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi taka dimmi. So that way, when you have two cycles of kandachapa or the five half beat cycle, you have 20 aksharas, and that is divisible by four. So we can complete the, the word takadimi in two cycles, but in one cycle we only have takadimi, takadimi, taka, which comes out to four plus four plus two, which is 10. Let's try a similar thing with our cycle of seven. But this time, I'm gonna divide it in terms of half beats. So, the number of half beats in Mishachapa, again, is half, 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 half. So in Mishachapa, we have seven components. Now if each of those half beats were divided by three, we would have seven half beats times three aksharas per half beat which gets you 21 aksharas. So this is what that sounds like.